Hi, welcome back. Hi. This is still tea time. Uh, I guess you've missed it that we just had a whole breakdown analysis by Boots Bass Boots about the trail, like Paul O would say, uh, which is Burner Boy, uh, Whiskey, and David Doe. But still in that matter, Sha, because like I said, we like to follow through, follow up on all the stories and all the updates. Nigerian musician Patrick. Hmm, I don't want to murder this name. Nah, it makes sense. That's what Bato Ranking. <laughs> ah, is that it? <laughs> well, I'm going to try. Patrick Nan Emeka Okori. Okori. Nemeka Okori. That's what I said. No, you didn't say that. Nah, Emeka. 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 That's what I said. Nah, Emeka. Oh, Better know. Even I'll... me, I'm saying it with full confidence. That <laughs> yeah, that's very oh, what my evil brothers come now. They say, what's the what's name? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Pat Rankin has shared a very cryptic message mm -hmm. via his official Twitter account. The Abule Krona was recently in the news for being endorsed by popular singer Wizkid. Anyway, he wrote that it is not wise for a person to hate on someone for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. According to the reggae dance hall singer and performer, being wise means burying the hatchet and moving on excuse me sorry and moving on from the hatred before it consumes the person's heart mm -hmm. you've been hating on someone for 10 years do you really want to make it 11 next year please be wise he wrote the tweet stood at risk of being mis misinterpreted by fans this prompted the musician to retweet a fan's tweet claiming that it had nothing to do with the alleged squabble between david doe and burner boy Mm. Your thoughts. So where, did you not, where did you not come out from? Exactly. So I just would say. You just talk. You just talk. Like, it's a coincidence. They just said it when um, Bruna um, Boy and we. Okay, let's be. It's just the talk. It's just the talk. It's just the yeah. World people okay. then go complain. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anywho, I Me. don't know. How do you keep a grudge with someone? I can't even keep a grudge with someone for a day. I have to talk, I have to, talk to you, like, okay, what's oh, going on? Ma. So, how can you. Uh, mama. Hmm. Mama, you can keep it for 10 years. <laughs> um, it depends on what we mean by grudge. But I can cut you out of my life intentionally for the rest Even of my life. Even though we're close. Yes. Wow. Uh, yes. There are some things, and I don't wish it on anyone, so I don't want to even say, oh, me, if you get there, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that, or some people, or something to happen by okay. some people that you know you are better off without that person in your life. If that person wants to in, um, interpret that as a grudge, and I guess technically speaking, it is a grudge because I am making an intentional effort to keep you away. Or um, more, I'll do it for 50,000 years if it is important to me and I think that it's the best for me. I think it's also very subjective because you have to really be aware of yourself and tell yourself the truth. That, am I being the negative person here? Is this worth it? Or am I actually trying to protect myself? And I think only you can decide that. Some people keep grudges over things that are silly and they're the ones that are fault mm -hmm. and the arrogance and pride has come in the way. Okay. Some people do it because it's, it's, they, they need to. It's a life or death thing that they're with toxic family mm -hmm. or like a toxic friend or a space that was bad for them. So it really depends. But in regards to what's it called, Pat ranking, I'm sorry, but Davido cannot talk about 10 years retweeting somebody who said a 10 year me. beef. And then, wait, where did this come from? You just decided to say, like, okay, you get somebody that's not on a Twitter years. like Think that. You, just you now say tips, 10 like, years, and then you say uh, after David Doe, who is making like even, even in the introduction of the story, this is the biggest rival that we have right now going on and then he tweets you retweet somebody who said um something about you hating me for 10 years is mm. is a lot blah 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 and then patranki now says Oh, 10 years is a long time. time. You now say it has nothing to do with it. Now, this is me now being devil's ad advocate for, for Pato Ranking. If I was Pato Ranking, maybe what I would say is that I'm not talking specifically about the three of them, mm -hmm. but that their, that their story influenced me to tweet that. that why would somebody um, beef someone for 10 mm -hmm. years? Not that you're saying that David Doe and Burner Boy and Whiskey mm -hmm. have been each other for 10 years old, but that that story has kind of made you, inspired you to think about that. Okay. But to, to, for him to pretend why, why, like why, why there's guys, no connection. Why are you, you guys kidding? not thinking that, okay, Pat Rankin has also been in the game for a while. What if mm -hmm. he's actually referring to, you know, it's referring not to every, who? You know, it's not everything that is about 
some certain set of people. Sometimes it's about your own personal experiences, and then it's just a slight coincidence that okay, okay it's yeah. slight. Yeah, it's slight. There's nothing slight because about what that. if it's somebody that that is also hated on Bonner Boy, and I said, I mean, on part of ranking, and he felt the need to talk about it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it could have been anything. So I'm not even going to make it about Bonner Boy or David Doe. So you think there is whiskey. no there is no I don't think. I'm, I'm saying like I'm saying that even if you there... You think. You don't know the guy's thoughts. Okay. There is no connection as far as I'm concerned. I don't feel like uh, Pato Ranking. And I think it's the kind of stand-up guy that if he was talking about it, he wouldn't be retweeting what the fans said. This guy has shown you guys out that he's not talking about that. So why would you insinuating okay. that that's what he's Because human about. beings can lie and Bataranki's word is not the, the word of God. He's lied to you before. That, no. as, that, lied that, to you I don't understand. Like, like, it's, like, it's, like it's like saying that, what, I have an argument with you, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I go back down to the newsroom and I'm having an attitude. Everybody knows that you and I just fought. Mm -hmm. I'm having an attitude and they ask me, I'm fine. And then you did not start telling me, and she said she's fine, so she's fine. Of course, there's nothing wrong. And that me being in the mood has nothing to do with the fact that you and I just fought earlier. Come on, Oh, guys. yeah? Okay. Let me Come on, I you, beg you. That has nothing to do with um, what, what? Whiskey and David O's matter. Mm -hmm. But 10 years is still a long time. I feel like, yeah. wait, what you said is actually quite insightful. And I, I really like that. When you were like, if this person is toxic to your life, maybe mm. it's better for you to just cut them off and not talk to them. But I feel if the, um, you have a disagreement with someone, instead of just holding a grudge, just talk it out. Like, just don't keep it for 10 years. In regards to this David O and Whiskey matter, I feel, and Bruno Boy. I just feel they holding a grudge for ten years is just immature. If you like if you if you if you ask me, so okay. speaking of maturity and mm -hmm. um, you know cutting people off. Okay. Now there's certain people that God has found a way to keep them away from your life, yeah. and God has found a way to keep certain people. There's certain people that you will chase from now to tomorrow. Mm -hmm. One, they would now do one right thing. You accept them back. Yes. They yeah. will, you will chase them again. They will come back yeah. and do the right yeah. thing. So God is keeping them there for those right moments mm. that you need them. So um, I think age and time has taught me a few lessons about life. Oh, well, wisdom. The wisdom. Oh, <laughs> I need to drink some tea on that. Continue. Age and time has taught me a few things about life that look, it's not okay to say you want to keep a grudge. Yeah, there are people that I know that I cannot relate to it on the same vibe anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Not ever, not in this life, yeah. not in the lifetime. Yeah. But I, when I cut them off, I would always remember the good things that those people brought to And me. chill with them and, in and involve them back in your lives? Because that's what I'm the grudge not, is. I'm not done. Okay, I'm just I asking. said I would always remember the good things, right? And as long as I keep remembering that... I will still be able to show you face. Do you understand? Especially when it's like you need me to, mm -hmm. I will be there for you. Will I invite you to my house to come and have breakfast? No. Will I invite you to my house to come and have lunch? No. Will I call you for my birthday party? No. But will I see you on the street? I'll be like, yo, bro. Yeah. It's not being fake, but it's just that there has been a cutoff. But there won't be a complete cutoff unless you're saying that that person had no impact in your life all along. But what if what he did, uh, that person did to you was really painful? And exactly. Unless it's something that would have claimed my life or my family or, or something. Or your mental health. Or, my, mm -hmm. or like, see, That's there's a betrayal. That, like, you expect there, this is to to, there is levels to There is levels to But age of time will yeah. teach you that you cannot hate somebody forever. You can't. No matter what, forgiveness. Mm. Hate is a strong forgiveness word. Forgiveness is key. Yeah, I think hate is a strong word, and, and what 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 this guy yeah. was even trying to say, like when you're when you allow anyone to have that kind of power where they're they're eating you up mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. I think the people that in my, I can count them, they're very very few, not up to five people. The people that I know that I've made a, a conscious effort to cut away, I found peace doing that, so I know that I'm doing the right thing. If that makes sense, like mm -hmm. I think it starts to get more grudgy when a friend hurts me, and I've said to myself that I. I want to cut this person off, but I can't. I miss the person. You know, I feel mm. bad. Like, the person's birthday was there, and I can't say happy birthday. Mm. Those type of things is when you know that you need to, mm. like, find a way to make peace with the situation. And, like, in the first method, say hi when you see each other. Just, you know, be cordial. But not every situation mm. needs to be cordial. I, like, I you feel old in a grudge. You're just giving that person too much space in your yeah. mind. You're making that person control your Apart from too much space, your mental health that you're trying to yeah. protect your future. 
unless you just I, it, it's you're each, messing it, yeah. with it as well. Yeah, because, it's yeah. up to each person to decide how they want to handle. Um, yeah. handle a thing. If it's safe for you to cut the person off, as in and no, then the most whatever, irritating one is when other people feel like they feel the need to come and say something about how you should handle things. Don't teach me how to handle things. Mm. Let me handle things the way I want to. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like she said, she wants to cut the person off completely. It's fine. I'm not going to hold it against you, but I'm saying my method is I would not do that. If your method is also that I want to go and shoot that person, by all means, just no, let me know about I, it. No, I don't like just, that. I, 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 I like to, because I think, especially when it comes to things that are um, emotionally hot, okay. I'm going to speak for myself, sometimes it can be a bit too blurry. I'm too close to the situation. Mm. Sometimes I, it, I need somebody else to come into the picture and say, if it, relax. Honestly speaking, it is not that deep. Remember that this person is just like A, B, C, and D. Sometimes other people's voice of reasoning sometimes can help me sometimes. And depending on how you also say it and who you are in my life, sometimes help me and think, when okay, you and when, you, when you also say it. When you also say it. When you say it, how you say it is important. If you say, why are you doing that? Oh, I'll change for you as in, the, in the spirit of that. But anyway, um, I'm... I'm glad Pater Rankin has said what he what he said, mm -hmm. even though he wants to deny that he has nothing. He was not influenced <laughs> by <laughs> by <laughs> Brother Boy's ten year okay. issue. I mean, David's ten year issue. Mm. If he's not influenced by that, I still think he made sense. And please be wise, like he said. Um, anyway, let's go on a music break really quickly. Um, get your dancing shoes on, have fun, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. We're still here for you guys. Mm -hmm. 